Hey there, and welcome to Dive Bar Comedy. I am Wild Joe. And this is GT. So uh, we have a very fun and special show for you today with three of our favorite comics, RJ, Julie Vanarelli, and Zhao Ying. Uh, she's new on our show, so it's all ladies except uh, for GT. We have some sets by uh, me and GT also. So I don't want us to take up the whole show talking because we're going to start it off with our sets. So um, GT, uh, how about you tell the people listening where they can see us live? Yeah, we're not going to be performing at the Lake Wazoo this month, um, last Thursday of the month. But we have a show coming up at the Lotus Lounge December 10th at the Lotus Lounge. So it starts at 8.30 p.m. as usual. And uh, December 10th, the la- second Tuesday of the month. This month, we're not going to be doing it at the Lake Wazoo because of uh, th- Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is in the way. Yeah, so come see us live if you can. Or if not, just please uh, subscribe and check us out at uh, divebarcomedy.com. Hey, ladies. You want some hot deals on sexy styles? Check out everydaysweetheart.com for everyday great deals on cute and sexy outfits. Club wear, mini dresses, leggings, sexy lingerie. And guys, feel free to stop by too and find something hot for the girl of your dreams. That's everydaysweetheart.com. And for 10% off, use the friend code TAKE10. That's T A K E 10. Thanks a lot. Yeah, welcome to the Lotus Lounge, everybody. Thank you guys for all coming out tonight to the GT Comedy Jam. I'm your co-host for tonight, Mr. CD Enforcer. Of course, we got the main host for tonight, GT the Gangster Taco Tapali. Round of applause for GT for setting this up for us tonight. You know what I mean? It's about game time, game time, game time. So y'all feeling all right? Y'all feeling all right? Goddamn right. You ready for the fresh motherfucking comedian? You got it right. This event is sponsored by Global Vodka, also supported by the Lotus Lounge. Round of applause for the Lotus Lounge. You got right. I love the owner of this place. We're going to have three babies together in a couple of weeks. I love this woman. She's so great. So you ready for the first motherfucker? Are oh, you ready for the first motherfucker? You got damn right. This wonderful young lady, she coming to the stage. She fine, she smooth, she a mom, she a lady. She records shit, she podcasts. She does all kind of shit in her free time. Get it together, go clap, 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 with his company name on the top, you know, he was one of the owners. 
And I'm lucky enough to start dating this guy. I think, oh, this is it. This is the one. I'm really, really working it hard. We go on a great date. I feel like a princess. We go back to his place, right? He's fingering me. I say, <laughs> oh, yeah, the beast is coming out, you know? Because I'm starting to feel wild. He's about to find out how wild, wild Joe really gets, right? She says, the beast? Can't it be something more feminine, like a, like a butterfly? What are you talking about, dude? You know, I'm feeling like a, like a wild animal right now. I'm like a wild beast. I don't know what he's talking about, you know? He's like, uh, I like butterflies. I'm like, this guy is weird, you know? And, and it just fizzled out. It was one of those things. He didn't ghost me exactly, but it just, like, failure to launch. Never took off. I run into him at, at a party months later. And I'm like, what happened? You know, everything was going so great. What happened? He said, uh, well, anyone that nicknames their pussy the beast is a little too wild for me. I said, what? Just a reason of misunderstanding. I wasn't calling my pussy the beast. Who? Uh, honestly, if, if I had named my pussy the beast, you know. <laughs> but I, I get it. I get why he was freaked out. I'm like, anyway, a lot of misunderstanding. I was dating this other guy. He was uh, another great guy, good looking, a director, had a, a brand new house that he had just remodeled. And, and we were good friends, actually. We were the friend, same friend group. I had a boyfriend, he had a girlfriend. We broke up around the same time. So he invites me over to hang out. So I'm like, eh, lazy, right? He's supposed to take me out on a date. So he's just inviting me over. That was one strike against him. Then I say, uh, you got anything to eat? He says, I got a microwave burrito. That's it, right? No effort. Two strikes, you know? And then I say, uh, can I use your bathroom? I go in the bathroom. Third strike, pubic hairs all over the toilet seat, all around the toilet. I'm like, this is the Disgusting. You know, you're trying to impress me. You bring me over to look at all your pubes. This is nasty. This is gross. I'm out of here. <laughs> a year later, he's married. I go over to his house for like game night. Because like I said, we're in the same friend group. I go over there. There's candles all over the place. It smells like fresh baked cookies. I could have done that. <laughs> How much is a maid, really? A hundred bucks? I mean, really. <laughs> And uh, I got to talking to him, hey, you know, that was kind of shitty that you invited me over and there were pubic hairs all over your bathroom. He goes, oh my God, that was my brother's bathroom. I can't believe my brother's pubic hair ruined our relationship. <laughs> it's always something, it's always something. <laughs> yeah. No, but I finally, I finally got pregnant. Yeah, I finally got pregnant at the age of 40. Got married. But uh, now I have to worry that uh, my baby's gonna come out retarded. Not because I'm 40. Because my husband is retarded. I mean, what did you think I was gonna get after age 40? Oh, when I was 25, I was in LA, the hottest chick, looking around. Life was like a smorgasbord of men. Anything I wanted, I could have. There's like, uh, just anything. I was, I was like dating half the roster at LA Models. And by dating, I mean fucking. <laughs> but uh, you know, one day I look around. Just a couple of straggly pieces of lettuce and a soggy noodle. <laughs> Take what you can get after that. Well, I'm lucky I got this dream boat right here. Thank you. He's charming. And uh, now we have uh, two babies. Not one, but two babies. Two under two. I got one on each side, breastfeeding. 
probably the only person you know that has a litter. <laughs> and having a baby is a lot like having a dog. They wake you up at six in the morning, chew on everything in the house, take the blame every time I fart. <laughs> but I love them. I love them. <laughs> yeah, I might be a mother now, but some things never change. I still have my tits out in public half the time. <laughs> Nobody's throwing ones at me anymore, though. I, I don't get it. Nobody ever throws ones at me. <laughs> All right, you guys. I had fun. <laughs> you guys had fun tonight. Oh, well, Joe. Thanks a lot for coming out. That's right, that's right. Another round of applause for Miss Wild You guys enjoy that? Yeah. You guys like the comedy? Yeah. You guys like the fuck? Yeah. You got damn right, I do too. <laughs> That's right, no protection, two phones. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys enjoying the uh, Lotus Lounge so far? Yeah. You got damn right you are, you sons of bitches. Hey guys, you need flooring? Because your floors got messed up during the last party? You need flooring because your dog urinated all over the place and it's all brown and stained and it's buckling and it's warping because of your dog. You were out doing comedy. No one was home. Well, log on to selectflooring.biz. Selectflooring.biz. B-I-Z. And hit them up. Call them up. Say, hey, what your situation is. That's what I'm talking about. You ready for the next comedian? Yeah. I said, are you ready for the next comedian? Yeah. So let's get it hyped for this brother coming to the stage. He sets up the show to us. He sponsored by Global Vodka. He's an Armenian, an Eastern European assassin. Give him some clap, 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 clap love for GT, the gangster Taco Tabalio. Welcome to GT's Comedy Jam, people. We've been doing this for three years now. First show we did was at some place called, called Las Champas. You guys ever been there? Las Champas. In City of Commerce. You guys see many of these comedians drive all the way down to like City of Commerce. They're like, yeah, 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 we'll go down there, dude. I like to gamble. Commerce Casino. So anyways, uh, why do women date men that look and act like they're dad? I just don't get it. I see it all the time. Women dating men that look and act like they're dad. <laughs> you know what I call that, people? I call that incest. Incest, <laughs> people! So I went up to my... My wife, who's just on, like, excuse me, ma'am, uh, does your dad have to look like Phil Collins? <laughs> I can feel it coming in the air tonight. She goes, no, my dad don't look like Phil Collins at all. Oh, I was like, oh, whoa, 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 what about Pitbull? I know you want me, you know I want ya. I know you want me, you know I want ya. I know you want me, you know I want ya. I know you want me, you know I want ya. Uh, uh, here's me in the clubs. Come on, come on, with my shades on. Come on, man. Uh, uh, going around like a shark in a tank. I gotta get late tonight, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm better doing comedy. Anyway. The whole club thing with the shades on didn't work shit. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I'm out of that club seat. Standing in line for hours trying to get in. Oh. No, what's it like people go, what's it like being married? What's it like being married? <laughs> My wife, she has this electronic monitoring system on me, people. <laughs> Called iPhone. 
She tracks me everywhere I go. Yeah, then she hits me up. She hits me up the other day. She goes, what the fuck you doing? 12 o'clock at night in some park in downtown LA for the last 20 minutes. Honey, I got you out, see, you know, I was like, I pulled over, you know, I didn't want to crash. I was kind of out of coming out of my life. She goes, yeah, right. Yeah, right. You're probably out getting head off some transsexual. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, really? All this time I thought I was a real female. She does kind of look masculine though, honey. Transsexual. Oh man, and then she goes, you better come home. You better come home and I'm gonna suck you off. <laughs> you better bust a full load in my mouth. <laughs> That's the way I'm gonna find out if you're really fucking out cheating on me. And I came home and I bust a full load in her mouth. She goes, hmm. She was fucking like, not sure. I was like, oh, I jacked off this morning. She goes, what? What? You jacked off? You jacked off? You, you piece of shit. You snuck off to the other room and jacked off without fucking waking me up first? I thought we had a plan to have sex. Get ass off like you for this week. You want me to wake you up? I have to get my rocks off. Fuck. Imagine this is the thing you guys love when you're married, people. Just giving you a heads up. A lot of women's pussies are going dry. <laughs> it's a huge epidemic, people. It's a huge epidemic. It's a huge problem. Women's pussies are going dry. What the fuck? You know, some people blaming global warming. It's a dry pussy. According to fake news CNN. There's a somewhat correlation between dry pussy and global warming. <laughs> dry pussy. I think it's caused by vibrators. I remember once this girl's mouth was one size small for my dick. I was like, what the fuck? Your mouth is one size small for my dick. Do something about that mouth of yours. GT, your fucking, your comedy is fucking disgusting. You're fucking disgusting. I will never book you on our Armenian show. 
They'll get offended by you. They're always getting offended. Armenians get offended. I don't know what to say. I was born disgusting. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I try to pitch in my comedy some Armenian channel. Yeah, they. Some girl goes, Your sperm is old. Your sperm made me sick. Your sperm gave me diarrhea. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? My sperm is old. Maybe it's the tuna fish sandwich you ate from Subway. She goes, no, your sperm is old. I was like, I know this, I know this lady. She swallowed my sperm every single day. Every single day. And she lived up to be 95 years old. <laughs> right now I can feel the spirit. She just dropped her dentures. She she died in a tragic motorcycle accident. Believe it or not. Eventually karma caught up with her. Because when she was young, she was the home wrecker. Yeah, she used to be proud of it too. Oh man. Your sperm is old, your sperm made me sick, your sperm gave me diarrhea. Oh man. What else I was gonna talk about? I'm gonna get off the fucking stage. Thanks, my guys. Coming up, our host, Mr. C. Host, Mr. C, coming up here, bitch. Another round of applause for our main host, Mr. GT, the game for Taco Topalia. And if it helps, his parents also don't like him. So, yeah, you guys have something in common. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? So you like that shit right there? Even if you did, lie about it. You like that shit right there? Do God damn right you did, you sons of bitches. I love you fuckers. Dude. We should have babies together, lady guys. It's cool. LA residents, are you tired of slippery floors? Are you afraid you might slip on your tile? Well, check out tightgripla.com. It's a local business coming out, surveying your floors, and treating it with a non-slip solution, a semi-permanent non-slip solution that will keep your floors safe, whether in the rain outdoors or indoors in the kitchen or bathroom areas that sometimes get wet and very slippery. So if you want safer floors and to not get injured while you're just walking around, check out tightgripla.com. Yeah, we got RJ here. Hey guys, how are you guys? RJ's in big time in the comedy scene. She's uh, all over the place. I see him everywhere. I see, I see you everywhere. I know. I was at the Improv the other night. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you guys just have the same circuit. Maybe you guys go to the same places on the same night of the week. No, oh, the Improv on Sundays. Uh, oh, so Flappers good. on Fridays, Saturdays. I don't do flappers. No. no. Okay. What's your? Uh, do you have a routine of? The I'm, mics you hit every week? Yeah, I'm a, at Sycamore a lot. I try to get up at Potluck on Mondays okay. at the Comedy Store. Um, Sycamore Show go up on Monday. Okay. Tuesdays are like a up in the air. I try to go downtown, but I don't like those mics too much. Okay. Yeah, I have my purse next to my way to the Bang Bang Oh, no. Night. Yeah, so I've been scared to go downtown. How far away were you from your purse? I was on me. What? Yes. Someone tried to snatch no. your purse? Yes. No, they did snatch They you. did snatch oh, Straight off of you? Straight off of me. It's not like, like you guys, left it somewhere. No, like somebody, I was oh, standing no. at a stop, like, ready to cross the street, oh, and then my, I felt like a tug. Oh, no. And I turned around, and somebody was like, it was a big man. Oh, no. And he didn't have a gun or anything. He but he was a big me. man. Yeah, so he just pushed me. He pushed you? And ripped my purse off. Was and then, he homeless? Like, no, he ran and got into a car. But you know what? A purse strap is not easy to rip. He had to pull it hard. Yeah, like he did. Like I was on the ground and then I got up and oh like chased God. him. It was a what little, street it was, a was it on? Thing. 
It was like all off of Hope at first. I, I hate downtown. Really? Yeah, it was like horrible. It was horrible. Not like this is the best place, but yeah, it's but downtown. it's better. Yeah. That's kind of crazy because you're always looking around for people walking. And then, Cars, like, and that's how it cars can be like, sneak up from behind. But I think it was a setup because I had like went to like a cash checking place to get a money order, and I think they probably followed me or something. It was crazy. It was a horrible day. Of course, it was a horrible day. How but the, ne- horrible. the next day, I went to the Lexington and had a breakdown on stage about it. Oh, so man. that and made you, it better. You lost your cell phone and your ID and all that. I lost stuff? my ID and my debit card, but I had like an extra ID at home. Where was your cell phone? My cell phone was in my pocket, Thank my God. jacket pocket. Yeah. So I didn't lose my phone at all. It was just my ID and my debit card. Which wow. It was cool. I got it for replacement the next day. But wow. it was crazy. Yes. It's hard being a girl. Yeah, I keep a close eye on my purse, but it sounds like you did too. Yeah. And you were just walking along. They take parts of the Messed up. Yeah, that guy's ballsy to just do that. I know. And it, was like, and it was like a weeknight, but it was still like there were still people out, but nobody was out during the time. It was like as soon as he got in the car, someone was like, are you okay? I'm like, I was just wrong. That's horrible. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, That's horrible. That's too bad. To but it could have been worse, but it wasn't. That's what happens when yeah. you get out there and you're, you're on the streets every night, mixing it up, something bad is bound yeah, to happen like, once in a while. Yeah, so I'm just going to go to the bang bang in a couple minutes and hang out. Yeah. Well, yeah. oh well. Well, we're going to have a fun night here. So how's okay. comedy treating you? Are you, are you, are you uh, getting, in, uh, getting in regular shows out here? Yeah, pretty much. I got I did one up at Potluck at the comedy store. Nice. So they told me to come back in three weeks. Nice. So. The Potluck said come back in three weeks? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's so cool. Did you do well? I did okay. I had a good set. Who told you to come back in three weeks? Um, Adam. Oh, Adam. nice. Did he yeah. come up to you and say come back in three weeks? No, he was in the back of the room. And then he saw you yeah. or you went up to him? I was leaving. Congratulations. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I like your stuff. Come back in two weeks. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Well, uh, we're going to have fun tonight. I'm happy you're here. I'm excited. uh, Where can people find you if they want to check you out online? Well, I'm on Instagram at RJ underscore W-I-T-D-A-F-U-N-N-Y. You don't have any Facebook, right? Mm -mm. No Facebook. No. I tried Facebook for like two weeks, and then it wasn't my thing. It's too modern. Yeah. You're a millennial, right? (laughs) Yeah, she's a millennial. Yeah, I tried it. I'm like, yeah. Facebook is for old people. Okay. <laughs> All right, RJ. Fun having you on. Thanks, guys. So, you guys ready for the next comedian coming to the stage? I need more. I need more. You ready for this next comedian coming to the stage? Yeah. You got that right. She's a soul motherfucking sister. Ponytail high. Like she Beyonce on a motherfucking fly. Put your hands together and give me some crack, 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 crack. Give it up for your host, everybody. And give it up for GT for having us out here tonight. Oh, it's a wild night, guys. It's a wild, wild night. Um, I came to the conclusion, I'd rather catch chlamydia than a cold. <laughs> You know, like I did it too. Even out of all the STDs, like chlamydia is the best one. You know? That's what I'm saying. A couple of pills and you're out of there. And if you're a girl, you don't get any symptoms, I don't think. I don't think it's cool. It is. I was thinking recently about like traumatic experiences and I was trying to trace back what was like my first traumatic experience. And I traced it back to about the time when I was nine and my bike was stolen. You know? Because when you're a kid and you have a bike, like you might as well be rich. You know what I'm saying? Like that's rich kid currency. Like you got a bike, you're rich. Okay, that's wheels. That's freedom. Okay? I was one of those backyard kids. Like, I couldn't leave the backyard. Like, I could only go to the corner and back. And let me tell you, okay, that little corner and back trip was everything to me. And I had a pink and white puppy. Okay? And they had purple accents. And pom-poms with pink, purple, and glitter pom-poms hanging from the handlebars. So you know what the fuck that means. I was stunting on these motherfuckers, okay? <laughs> okay? They didn't even have fucking glitter streamers on all the huppies, okay? I was stunting, okay? When I was on my way to that corner, baby, you saw me coming, okay? <laughs> that was my shit. And there was a system for me to put up my bike, 
right? I would put it on the porch and my Uncle Manly would come take the bike and put it in the garage. That was our fucking system. When I'm done riding, put it on the porch. Uncle Manly comes at the end of the day, puts it in the garage. Beautiful system. Beautiful system. It was foolproof. Okay? One day I was like, Uncle Manly, get my bike out the garage. And he was like, what? Is, what was your bike? Like, it's not in the garage. Like, did you ride it yesterday? I'm like, of course I rode it yesterday. He's like, I didn't put it up. So there's pandemonium in the house. The bike is missing. Okay, so I'm like running around my grandma's downstairs. We're yelling at people in the neighborhood. Have you seen a bike? Have you seen a bike? Nobody saw shit. Okay, and there's pandemonium going on. I'm screaming, I'm crying, I'm throwing stuff. How can somebody do this to a child? Right? So my granddad comes downstairs. He comes downstairs and he like, he hears everything, but he doesn't say anything. He just goes and does what grandpas do. He wouldn't sat in his chair. You know, every granddad, I don't give a fuck what race you are. If you got a grandpa, he has a chair that nobody else can sit in. Okay? And the remote's always there. You can't touch the remote when it's in the chair. Everybody's grandpa's the same. So he's sitting in his chair watching Bonanza. Okay? <laughs> So I find I'm sitting next to him like, fuck, where is my bike? Somebody stole my bike. He didn't even break from the TV. Like, he just kept watching TV and he was like, your mom stole your bike. Dang. And I'm like, what? Can you rip your eyes off of John Landon for one second? And tell me, what the, what the fuck are you saying? You take your eyes off a of Barbara Stanwyck in the Big Valley for one fucking second and ruin my childhood like a fucking man? <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> You're like, your mom was here yesterday, right? I'm like, yes. So your bike was here, right? Yes. Today your mom's gone, right? Yeah, you got a bike? <laughs> okay. You know, what are you, stupid? What are you, stupid? I got a car to love over this shit. <laughs> I grew up in a house where, like, Nick at Night was a thing, okay? I know a lot about classic TV. So, she did. She did take my bike. She did. <laughs> she did. She did. She did. But she made it, for, like, she made up for it, like, a couple years later. Like, she bought me a diamond necklace. It was in the shape of a cross. You know, it was nice. It was nice. She took that, too. But, um... <laughs> But the time, you know what else she did? She put me on punishment for losing it. Wow. Who does that? Right? Right? She had to cover her tracks. Sneaky bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I bring that up to her. Like, remember that time you saw my necklace? She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, shit. I had an argument with somebody recently who told me to vote. And he was black too. Like, he was like, you need to vote. You know, we can't let this happen again. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And I was like, it's like three fifths of a person. Your vote don't count. Is it the Constitution? It is! There's no fucking amendment that ratifies that. I'm <laughs> just saying. Just saying. It's all in plain sight. I'm going to end on something happy. I am. I am. I promise. Um, all dogs go to heaven. I'm RJ, guys. <laughs> right there. I like it. I like it. She's talking about voting. Now, I do have a piece of information for you guys. Now, I, I'm, I seem crazy, right? I'm actually running for president. Uh, Carl Anthony for president. I'm an independent. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. And out of spite, you should all vote for me to fuck them all. I don't tell you. Carl Anthony for president. Donate a dollar if you got free time. Run on pause again for all trade. You got that right. A O T T. Attention, all drinkers! Attention, all drinkers! 
Do you like a smooth tasting vodka that goes down with no burn? How about Global Vodka straight from Italy? Check it out. You can find it at global-vodka.com. Not only does it have a smooth, great taste, it also is gluten-free and organic for you health nuts. So try Global Vodka. You can find it at global-vodka.com. Or next time you're in L.A., check it out at Universal Bar and Grill. Hey there, we are back with Julie Vanarelli. Hi. What's <laughs> up? I'm turning into Mr. C with the Julie Vanarelli. I love it. I love it. <laughs> like a soccer guy. Come here, Mr. C. Hey. Mr. C, where did you uh, come up with your emceeing style? Um, it's an inspiration of Buster Rhymes, Little KRS-One, <laughs> and a touch of Michael Buffer. And that, and that guy that I says love goal it. in goal. soccer. Yeah, yeah, it's like better, better. I love it, man. Lay, 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 lay. See? There it I'm is. into it. It All really. Right. I always feel special when he pulls me off stage. Yes. When he, when he, when he I, feel, I feel special, for sure. <laughs> you are special. You're a special, <laughs> special lady. So, How are you? Uh, what's been going on? What's been going on, man? Uh, working a lot. I mean, nothing kind of exciting, working. I have to be honest. Kind of working, doing what? Uh, I do, no, I do, I do um, like, massage, but physical therapy Whoa. type massage. Okay, okay. Yeah. I got the, the hardest massage the other day. That kind of massage. Really rough. <laughs> this Chinese guy, an old man, Yeah. he went so hard on me, and, but I, and I got the 90 minutes, which I don't know why, I, I don't know about all the places, but the Chinese places, they... They spend most of their time on the back, and then they just grace over the legs really quick. And if you oh. go from 60 minutes to 90 minutes, they just do even more back. And like, oh boy. so I, it was Are like the sore? same area. I was sore for two days afterwards. Yeah, yeah. And, but I probably needed it. But And he did ask me. He said, "Are you sure this is okay?" I go, "Yeah, it's fine." And then he went even harder over oh all the same areas, and I was like, "I should have just said ow, but I didn't. I thought it's got to end soon, and I love it just that kept shit. going." I but love it. It's not for everyone, though. I needed it, though. I, I'm one of those people that gets all those knots. Maybe everybody does, but yeah. I, I do, definitely. Well, you have two kiddos. And I'm a naughty, I'm just a naughty You're person. You're a naughty person. Well, I can tell. I can tell. Person. Yeah. Naughty person. So, anyway. <laughs> so that's a lot of exercise. I, I was oh, like, this man. guy's really working. It's tough. Actually, I used to do, like, 15 hours a day, and I just can't. Oh, my God. That's like a... Uh, cannot. Now I do, hardcore like... Hardcore workout. Maybe six a day, and I am dying yeah. so you know age do you have I arthritis guess? in your hands or anything? i do my thumb i, I just found out i have arthritis in my thumb i wouldn't be surprised yeah that's and why i think the guy switched to his elbows and that's when he really started killing me that's right that's the that is the tool to use elbows yeah you gotta watch your, your i have some you know look at these hands though pressure you know what i, I got a, a weird your hands not manly it's the same size as mine almost i mean the palm, okay though. i have a weird whoa the plane overhead <laughs> A lot going on here. We're about to get bombed. It's no. Los Angeles. It's scary. Yeah. Uh, I got this weird thing after having my first baby, like around four months to eight months in, called mommy thumb, where mommy your tendon, thumb. it's like a tendonitis through the thumb. Oh, that's what and I have. It, it came out as like a big bump right here. I have it, and but it's not no bump. It's though. like right here. It came out as a bump. It was so bad. I was like, what oh, happened? No. But now it's kind of gone down. But it's from holding the baby, and the baby's jiggling you, and your thumb oh. is. You're, you're trying to hold the baby still, and you're always <laughs> picking him up using your thumb, and then you're holding the stroller, pushing with your thumb. It's, it's, your, uh, your yeah. Kids are so, fu so fucking adorable. They are really cute, but oh they're cuter God. on Facebook than in real life. It's one of those. Uh, I mean, that's how things. everybody's cuter. On, so I'm not gonna on post Facebook. all the pictures of the crying and the pooping no, and no, stuff. No, no, no. Nobody posts that. We post the good times. Some people do. They're like, I'm just gonna be real, and then they post like their kid's ass, and I'm like, that's kind of like private, like. The kids Weird. gotta grow up and like all these ass pictures on Instagram. What a strange, what a strange thing. I never even thought about that. I'm like respecting the children's privacy. They Hell have, yeah. they cannot consent. They're below the age of consent. Yeah. I'm not gonna post their ass. It is cute to see a baby's ass, but I'm not posting it on Instagram. Good. Good. Know? Yeah. Well, I think that's a good, that's a good move. Yeah. Very smart. Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> are posting all their. Nothing wrong with breastfeeding, but like putting all your tit pictures out there. Too. I mean, whatever. You're just showing off your tits at that point. You're right. like breastfeeding's natural, right, and you have right. your big old tit out, and like big um, boobs. I mean, that's fun, right? Uh, whatever. <laughs> if, if you want to show them, show them. Is em. that fun? That must be fun to get big tits. If you're a baby, you mean? No, no. Oh, when just you, having them? Well, if you're a baby, that's fun too. I'm afraid they'll smother the baby, but as, <laughs> as, 
Anyway, I don't but they know. get so much bigger. No, but mine were like double A, and now they might be a B. So I didn't well, really. That's fun. It, it that's is great. fun. It is fun. Yeah. I finally have something versus go. nothing my whole life. Yeah, that's great. I'm so, happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> so uh, we've gone off topic. Yeah, where we uh, where can people find you online to check out your comedy and stuff? Um, my Instagram is uh, schnozzarelli. Oh yeah, schnozzarelli. Schnoz. S C H N O Z. A R E L L I. That's a very Jewish term. No, I'm not. I'm Italian. Okay. Um, schnoz. Isn't but a Jewish? schnoz, it's a nose. We all have the same nose in my family, so okay. that's where it came from. Okay, I thought that was a Jewish word. Hebrew word. It probably is a Jewish okay. word. Yiddish. Yiddish. It probably, it, it is probably Jewish. Oh, well. But whatever. All right. It's I mean, it's Jews, it's Italians, schnoz, they're all the same. A relly. Basically. Relly is a Italian. A relly is Italian. Right. Jews and Italians are pretty similar. I schnoz mean. Schnoz wise. Schnoz wise. The Italians have better food though. Yes. I don't know what kind of food Jewish people have. I don't but know. Italians either. have great food. They do. Matzo ball soup. I've never tried it. It might be good. I don't know. It sounds good. It might though. be as good as a uh, uh, spaghetti. No. It can't be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, fun having you on, and I uh, can't yeah, wait to you. hear your set. You're the best. <laughs> you guys ready for some Italian stallion swag? Yeah. I said, do you like the Italian stallion swag? Yeah. You got that right. Let's get it together and get it right for the clap, 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 clap to the Julie Vanarelli. Wow. Keep it going for your host. That's right. I'm sorry. I should have started on a better note. Did anybody else masturbate to leaving Neverland? Anyway, I just I just celebrated my one year anniversary with the love of my life. Stand up comedy. This relationship came as a bit of a surprise to me. You know, I started this to uh, improve at public speaking. Somehow, there's been absolutely no improvement. <laughs> but, you know, I, I guess I've never loved anyone as much as I love talking about myself. <laughs> And in the past year, since discovering comedy, I also discovered I'm a squirter. Yeah, All right, yeah! All right! Coincidence? I don't think so. Anyway. I caught the gay for quite a few years there. Caught the gay? And just found out my ex-girlfriend's dating another Julie. <laughs> now, am I surprised that that bitch is still screaming my name every time she comes? <laughs> but what surprises me is that she found someone named Julie Christine. So that's my name, obviously. Plus Christine. The name of her ex of seven years before me. This is totally true. What? A silly cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you see what she did there? She killed two birds with one strap on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I definitely pack some of you as strap on wares. But for the rest of you, if you think it kills the mood to have to wait for someone to put a condom on, <laughs> try waiting for someone to put a cock on. Oh. 
Mickey loves to strap on. Yeah. It was like trying to be a vegan. I mean, right away. Right away, it's hard. It feels cleaner. And then after a little while, I can hear my vagina screaming, I'm fucking starving! <laughs> Give me real food. <laughs> a dildo is it's just a meatless dick. That's what I'm talking about. So you guys feeling all right? Yeah! 
That's what I'm talking about. Thank you guys for sticking around, hanging out, showing love at the Lotus Lounge, hanging out for the GT's Comedy Jam. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, all right. Hey guys, you need a party tent, you need a commercial tent, you need a tent because you have no garage? Well, log on to webtentsale.com, W-E-B-T-E-N-T-S-A-L-E.com, and check out our site. This site is designed for commercial tents, party tents, and anything but camping tents. So, if you need a tent because you have a party and you will need to buy it instead of renting it all the time, you're tired of throwing your money down the drain, well... Go to our website, webtentsale.com, and check it out and order your tent right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Dive Bar Comedy, we're back with Zhao Ying Summers. Hi. Yeah. So excited to be here. So where are you from? I'm from China. I thought that was a Chinese name, the first oh, name. Yep. It's Zhao Chinese. Ying. Yep. Nice. Nice. So uh, how are you finding the L.A. comedy scene? Wow. Um... I really like how comedians are really hardworking here. Yeah. They really do it for the love, you know. Yeah. You, you, you can't leave your home every night to places for open mic and practice and practice. And practice. Yeah. So I, I, I like comedians here and uh, I'm very, I'm just very proud that I am a comedian in LA. How long have you been here? Um, in LA, I've been in LA for five years. Okay. I've been a comedian for uh, two months. Oh, you just started? Mm hmm. Oh, wow. Have you met any other Chinese comics out here? Well, my friend Joe Wang, he's a Chinese comedian. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, and the other Chinese comics uh, um, I met uh, uh, is this uh, Hank. He's uh, a gay uh, Chinese American from New York. Wait, there's that siren going by. Hold on. Mm. Fire, fire. Okay. There's another guy, his name is Hank. He's a Chinese American comedian. He's gay. Which okay. He's very, very cute. Very sweet. Okay. Nice. And uh, mm. there's Feng Chao at the comedy store. You gotta oh, check yeah. him out. Feng Chao. Uh, Feng Chao actually follows me on Instagram. We follow each other. So yeah, go meet him. Go he's meet always him. working the door, or he used to be always working the door at, uh, at uh, the comedy store. Uh -huh. So if you just go there, you could probably see him anytime you want. Okay, I'm gonna message him and uh, see when's his next show. And, uh, yeah. See. Yeah. Yeah, he would tell me about Feng Chao. He's a nice guy. Because nice one guy. time I, I did a mic at the improv while I was going off, the host was like, a, um, you know, give it up for Feng Chao. I'm like, okay, that's a compliment. Okay. Because Feng Chao's funny. Good. Yeah, he's very funny. He's yeah. a cool guy. And he's kind of one of the first, as far as I know, one of the first Chinese people I've seen doing comedy in LA. So, yeah, it's good. That's awesome. Bring it here, you know? That's awesome. Cool. So, where can people find you online? Uh, Zhao Yin Summers, uh, my Instagram. Okay. At Zhao Yin Summers. My How do you name. spell it? J I A O Y I N G S U M M E R S. All right, all right. Well, people will have to check you out, and uh, can't wait to hear your set. Thank you so much. I'm very excited. Cool. So, you guys ready for this next comedian to come to the stage? Now, this name is real interesting. It's very confusing. I can't tell if she's a Filipino or an Asian, but we gotta show some love. Are you ready for this comedian right now? Give me some clap, 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 clap.
Ask him now, try again. Then he did. Say that. Oh, you are a nurse from, uh, oh, Filipino nurse from uh, Kaiser Permanente. <laughs> That's fucking insulting, you know? Like, who is he to decide that I'm not good enough to be from uh, Cedar Sinai? <laughs> I think his grandpa did not teach him how to say chink. Oh. He's a very bad Republican. So if you cannot get your Asian slurs right, how can you make America great again? I was reading Demi Moore's new book, Inside Out. So when she was married to Ashton Kutcher, she uh, was directing her TV movie debut. She got a Google alert saying that Ashton Kutcher caught cheating. That's awful. Give me more directing a movie. <laughs> <laughs> we always make fun of the people we can't have. You know, when I was a little girl, when I was uh, like 13, my biggest sexual fantasy is me holding Demi Moore in the movie Ghost, making a pottery, making a big black dick. Yeah! And we just live happily ever after. <laughs> I have a new mom. Oh, hey! I'm so excited. <laughs> Nobody told me that after you have a baby, you cannot go back to happiness. <laughs> so I went back to drinking. Yeah. The only man choking me in bed now is my son. <laughs> my husband just found out that I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Took him wrong enough. He just told me that, you know, when we're dating, you are so sweet and elegant, you never drink, and you, I've never seen you curse. I told him, I'm a fucking actress. I was playing the role of the girl you won't marry. It's not gonna last for six months. I'm not a method actor. My ex-husband is my college sweetheart. He's uh, a scientist, and uh, he was my first love. His mother wasn't uh, approval for marriage. She's like, uh, I think you are marrying my son for his money. So mean, you know, how could she make that kind of assumption of me? I'm marrying him for green card. <laughs> I finished the show from Flappers. I was walking out. These two ladies ambushed me. They said, we can help you find Jesus Christ. <laughs> I told them, you can't help me. You're living in Burbank. <laughs> also, I found Jesus. He works in Costco in Marin del Rey. Jesus, and he's Mexican. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Have a great night. My name is Jolly Summers. Great job, great job, great job. Now, yeah, Representing China to the fullest. That's what I'm talking about. I gotta add A to myself. I went to a, a comedy store and I went to a. Oh, oh, it's feedback. I got a volume issue. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, there it is. No more beeping. All right, there it is. Okay, we got it under control. There it is. Hey, he's from the Team Money team. Is he a Floyd Mayweather guy? That's what I'm talking about. You beat people up? Round of applause for abusive white men with bald heads. That's what I'm talking about. Another round of applause for Zhao Ying Summers to the great motherfucking job. Great. Mother, fucking job. GT! I don't know, I don't know, I don't trust you, GT. 
you're, you're slightly Caucasian. Because you know, Armenians are like Russian Jewish Christians. Confusing, right? It's like, do, do they keep their virginity with the asshole fucking? Or do they murder you and take your asshole? It's confusing. That, that's Armenians, I'm telling you. And DT doesn't like my Armenian jokes. He gets very offended. He literally is going to call his mom and act and is like, that goddamn Mr. C was talking about Armenians tonight. Is it my fault you guys are so gangster? That's right. Round of applause for DT the Gangster Top with the bottom. He sets it up, networking guy. I've known this guy for about 10 years, and I've hated him all 10. Die Bar Comedy, yeah. You know, it die bar comedy. It's 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 a crazy place. It's it's crazy doing die die bars, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So thank you guys all for listening, and please check us out every week. You can find us wherever you listen to podcasts. We come out late night on Tuesday nights. <laughs>